Yes, the clarinet section. They were fabulous, weren't they? Boy, I don't think I can move that, my fingers that fast if I try. Yeah, another big round of applause for the clarinet section. Now, it occurs to me that some of you may not know all the instruments that make up a modern wind ensemble, so this would be a great opportunity to show you. Now, the modern wind ensemble is divided into three parts. We have woodwinds, brass, and percussion. So, first of all, we have the woodwinds. You've, you've seen the clarinets. Oh, we have a little bit of a clarinet problem over here. He's, he's having his clarinet check for emissions. Yep, do you mind? Yep. Okay. okay. So, this is the clarinet over here. Do you mind holding it up there? Ah, look at that. Whoa! Clarinet's in the house there. Whoa! As you can see, it's basically a hunk of wood that somebody's parents went out in the woods one day, grabbed, dug some holes in it, and said, go play the clarinet and stop bothering me. <laughs> now over here we have oboes. Can you hold up one of the oboes for us? There we go. <laughs> the friends of oboes in the house. And as you can see, the oboe is almost exactly the same as the clarinet. The difference is that the very tip of it has been gnawed through to a tiny, tiny stem probably because oboe players get very, very nervous because they always have to be like perfectly in pitch. Next to the oboes, we have the flutes. The flutes, would you hold the flute? Whoa! Oh, hang on a second. No, 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 get back up here a second. I was about to show them some silver, but you got gold, my friend. Come stand up here. All right, show that, show, come on, don't be shy. Don't be bashful. Now you see, the flute players are the kids who got a job really early and they could afford a little bit of extra metal on that piece of wood. Can I see a bassoon, please? All right. Now the bassoon players, they're the ones whose parents were a little bit kiasu. They went out to the woods and got the biggest stick they could find. <laughs> Next to the bassoons, we've got the saxophone players. They're the ones whose parents didn't get the message that the stick had to be straight. You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And that's our woodwind section. Now let's move on to the brasses. We first of all start with the trumpet players over here. All right, yep, there you go. Next to them are the trombone players. I said trombone, not Justin Bieber. <laughs> All right, okay. You'll notice the big difference between trumpets and trombones. Trumpets have pistons, trombones have a slide. That's because trombone players are better at geometry. Trumpet players are better at arithmetic. Somebody get a glass of water up there. I think somebody's going to faint. Next to the trombone players, we have the tuba players. They're the ones. They're the ones whose parents owned the scrap metal shop. They had a lot of extra. Just in front, or rather next to the tuba players, we have the euphonium players. Can you stand up? They're shy. The euphonium is like a tuba in training, you know? It's gonna, it'll get there someday. And then we have the French horns, last but not least. Oh, not much screaming for the French horn players, huh? Well, you would be screaming if you had to play this instrument. It is really, really hard. It is the hardest brass instrument of them all. Of them all, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's why, when they're not playing, you see them twisting their horns a lot. They're hoping to find the right note. Then we have the percussion, which is everything. We got drums, everything they do, they bang. Do you mind just banging something for us right now? As you can see, percussion players, they're the ones who in primary one, the teacher all said, would you please sit down and shh. So the parents put them in percussion class to get them out of the way. And uh, wait a minute. Wait, what, no, don't, don't you try to hide your face. What are you doing here? Yes, you, 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 yes, you. Is that a string instrument I see? Oh, 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 oh. Do you think this knowledgeable audience is going to pay that one? Do you think that's a percussion instrument? No, my friend. You are banished from this stage. Be gone. Out, out, damn spot. Whoa, this is a wind ensemble concert. Come on, we gotta stick to our own here. Come on, you don't wanna say. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your modern wind ensemble.
Now, our next piece is called Alex and the Phantom Band by David Maslanka. Now, this is a really interesting piece of music because it kind of teaches you all the different instruments we just talked about through a story about Alex who goes into this dream adventure. And every good story needs a good storyteller. Let me tell you, we've got a fantastic storyteller here. So please, put your hands together and please welcome Miss Kamini Ramachandran to the stage. Alex and the Phantom Band by David Maslanka. <laughs> 